Well, hey there. I just wanted to describe a little problem that I noticed, uh, which was appearing with new Bind and Fly quads coming out, just in case anybody's hit the same thing and is having a problem when they're a bit confused on what to do. I found this when I'm, I upgraded my configurator finally to 10.5.1 and uh, plugged in one of the new quads I was looking at. What I've got plugged in at the moment is a little Isheen trash can, which is, um, you know, a few months old now. And this had the firmware BeatFlight 4.0.0 on it. I think it was the first one I looked at uh, with version 4. And it all seems okay to start with, but if you go into the modes, you'll see it it just says tab auxiliary and it's like well there's a tick box there and that's it and if you then try and click away from that you'll, you'll find that nothing works it just doesn't work at all and then you have to end up disconnecting and reconnecting again and you'll find some other weirdness like um, if you look at the the battery you'll you'll find that the the cell voltage stuff's all weird all weird stuff away there now I, I was kind of looking around for this and thought well this is weird because I already configured this is there a problem with the configurator or or something else so i ended up looking at uh github trying to look for an answer there and it turns out that where you've got pre-release versions of four that were going on these quads because four has not that long actually been made official you had the sort of the gold masters and the beta builds beforehand the actual proper configurator requires a proper version of the firmware else it doesn't work you get this thing um and it says here uh, your modular has not an official final beta flight 4.0 version upgrade to latest official firmware or ask your manufacturer for a personalized configurator and never be um, wary of looking in github even if you're not a developer you will find people have raised issues before of course you might get a kind of very curt answer if you raise it I, I love this one from McGivigan, which is I'm not going to explain how the MSP protocol works with versions I've explained your problem and the solution you decide what to do ooh passive aggressive much but anyway so there are two quick solutions for this you can absolutely update the firmware and upgrade to the proper version of 4.0 but I'm thinking like if you're the guy that um, is new to this and you took the plunge on one of these perhaps that's not what you want to do but perhaps it's just like well I only wanted to set up my modes and stuff so what can you do instead well there's absolutely no problem with going and getting one of the previous versions if you looked at the beta flight configurator for 1040 and all the old versions are still there up on github under the releases and um, there's all the available files there if we if we go ahead and run that one um, aside from saying hey 1051's available if we connect in there we will find that our power and battery looks correct and look our modes are there that's handy isn't it of course the proper way of fixing this is to say I'm gonna flash the firmware and you just find out what your one is you grab it here and then you get the latest proper version and you load the firmware and flash it I'm not going to show you this now because I've already done a video on this one but that's what you can do and if you want access to every feature on Beetle Flight 4, you will need the 10.5.1 configurator. However, if you've literally just got your quad, it's a bit new to you, you don't want to flash stuff, you can just revert to configurator 10.4.0, do what you like, uh, get flying, and don't worry too much about it. Because odds on, you're just going to change a few of the very basic bits, like your modes, like your PIDs, um, your OSD, that sort of thing. Anyway, this has been a very short video, but I hope it's helpful to some people, and I'll catch you next one. Bye for now. Well, you've made it to the end of the video, so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing, and if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.